Since I can remember, my first memories, I'm in love with nature. Being aware that we are part of the environment and that we need all these complex interactions. I have many different lines of work. I'm not the most focused person. <laughs> I love to work combating wildlife trafficking in Brazil. In my PhD, I tried to use genetics to shed some light on issues concerning wildlife trafficking. When I told people about my work, they had no idea what I was really talking about. When I began using small cameras, even to record my work not so professionally, I was able to show them the images I didn't have to explain. I could see the reactions in their faces. I'm able to edit the video, share it on Facebook and YouTube, and then I have access to hundreds of thousands of people. We're building an online database that we hope to be a source of information about seizures of illegally traded animals. We use network not only to connect with people doing similar work, but we also find partners, donors, collaborators. Right now I'm writing a project with people from Freeland Foundation in Thailand. When I have a problem, when I have some doubts, I can call them, I can video chat. We solve everything and we can send a project in collaboration. I think it's always an exciting time to be alive in the world. I think that each period and each era has its challenges and its possibilities. Nowadays we have all this access to technology. It gives us more power to develop more things with more data, but also all the possibility of sharing and communicating amplifies our work, making our work much more meaningful and powerful. I wouldn't say it allows me to be what I am, but it definitely helps me to be what I am. I could not imagine myself without it anymore.